Yes, guys, Jim Rapat back in the house, and we have a topic for you. And um, this is about Kevin Feige promising MCU fans that the next saga will become clear as Phase 4 nears the end. Oh, it better become clear. Yeah, because... I need know, some clarity. Yeah, mm. that, that, that's been the, um, the, 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 the biggest complaint of MCU fans lately mm. with mm. all the Marvel properties that's come out, mm. especially mm. on the TV, um, that there's no through line. Mm. Do you know what I mean? As there was with the Infinity Saga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. could all see, especially with the uh, 10 that's credit good. scenes, they were all tying themselves together mm. to, yeah. So, uh, so this comes to us via Variety. And it says that the Marvel Cinematic Universe's Phase 4 has included block, uh, box office blockbusters like the billion dollar gross in Spider-Man No Way Home and Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness which has made uh, $942 million worldwide and counting, plus the MCU's first foray into television with hits like WandaVision and Loki. But what Phase 4 has lacked for a majority of MCU fans is a sense of narrative, drive and cohesion. As Variety's Adam B. Vary wrote last month, instead of the incremental escalation of the Infinity Saga, there is no sense yet of where phase four is headed if indeed it is heading in any single direction as of now the mcu has a handful of dangling cliffhangers that don't appear to have any connection to one another and that doesn't appear to be building towards a franchise uniting endgame there's doctor strange teaming team him up teaming up with claire to fix an incursion in the multiverse there's Arsham from Eternals placing the planet on trial. There's a drop of Venom's alien symbiote goo left in the same universe as Tom Holland's spy, uh, Peter Parker, and so on. According to Marvel Studios president Kevin Feige, clarity about the MCU's direction will start in the coming months. The MCU boss told Total Film magazine that while clues about the MCU's future have been baked into the existing Phase 4 titles, the larger game plan for the franchise will start taking shape more directly with the remaining Phase 4 titles. And he says, as we are nearing the end of Phase 4, I think people will start to see where this next saga is going, Feige promised. I think there has been many clues already that are at least apparent to me of where this whole saga is going. But we'll be a little bit more direct about that in the coming months to set a plan so audiences who want to see the bigger picture can see a tiny, tiny, tiny bit more of the roadmap. The upcoming Phase 4 movies include Thor Love and Thunder, Black Panther Wakanda Forever, Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 and The Marvels. On the television side, the MCU is currently airing Miss Marvel and has She-Hulk, Attorney at Law Ooh. and Secret Invasion on the way, amongst other titles. She-Hulk. <laughs> With Miss Marvel lead Iman Villani starring in the second Captain Marvel film, The Marvels, and Jonathan Majors Kang, The Conqueror, debuting in the next Ant-Man, the character being a variant of Loki villain He Who Remains, MCU fans have already been bracing uh, for more connective tissue among the installments, I'm gonna leave it there because this uh, it can yeah this could go on, mm -hmm. but anyway uh yeah, Leon, what do you make of uh what Kevin Feige has said? Well, I trust him. Okay. <laughs> what can I say? If he yeah. said it's gonna come together, he he's a mastermind, uh -huh. Uh -huh. and I think he's a genius at what he does. So, yeah. Yeah, I, yeah, it is a bit all over the place. Mm -hmm. um, but why would he lie? It's either going to come together or it ain't. And he said it is. Yeah. So I believe you, Kev. <laughs> Big Kev. You know what I mean? Yeah, I hear that. What I hear can I that. say? I hear that. Damien? You know, I know I made a joke at the start about going, oh, it better be, but I can actually handle films, Marvel films, or not, if they stand alone by themselves and they're good. I don't mm -hmm. mind that. Mm -hmm. I think the problem is they've set a precedent now for their audience that it has to be tied in mm -hmm. and therein lies the trap. It's, it's so much more work to connect that expansive universe <laughs> with those many friends. Yeah. yeah. Like, and every now and then you're going to have a weak movie because you feel you have to fulfill 
a certain part of the yeah. narrative rather than the Eternals. Eternals. <laughs> yeah. Eternals. It's like, there are certain films that like you know don't do well, but Eternals one. Uh, yeah. um, but you know, certain films can stand out on the run. Like I think me Thor, as we just reviewed it, I the trailer for it, I don't think that has to have any connection to any of the films for me to enjoy it. No, I no, don't have not to know to anything it, no. about the next phase no. four or five of it to enjoy that film. No. What about Guardians? Guardians? Probably not as well. I don't think mm. I, I think Guardians is standalone probably as well. Not. Probably mm. not. Doesn't, yeah. need to. doesn't no. need to. But Doctor Strange, Spider Man, mm. Venom. I don't think any of them need to. To that, be honest with you, they don't need to. But but obviously, Kevin Feige has created this world, mm-hmm. um, being inspired by the comic books, mm. where they are all interconnected, mm. and um, we now have expectations of mm. them all being connected mm. whereas before we didn't before the mcu started we didn't no we didn't have that do you no. know what i mean you have an x-men series by itself you could have like you know there's a blade series by itself you could mm-hmm. spider-man series by itself mm-hmm. it's fine listen it was it was kevin that it, this is his mastermind yes mm. so he thought to put it all out there and mm-hmm. wants to connect it so he must mm. know what he's doing oh yeah because he didn't have mm. to do that no he could have said cool. let venom run that's cool mm. let Blade Run, that's cool. Mm. No, I, 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 I see where he's coming from because, like, even with uh, Eternals... Mm. Sorry, did you finish what you were going to yeah, say? Yeah, that's pretty much it, though. I, I, I see where he's coming from because even with Eternals, we saw at the end credit scene uh, the voice of Mahershala Ali as Blade. Mm. Um, there's certain things that we've seen that we can see, like we've seen from um, Black Widow, um, the woman that appears at the end of that, Julia Dreyfus, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. who then appears in Falcon and Winter Soldier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there is little bits, as he says in the article. Mm. If you see, if you if you look closely, there are little bits that do combine together. Mm-hmm. Um, and 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 because there's now a multiverse mm. with Doctor Strange two going into the multiverse, and also Loki with Jonathan Majors going into the multiverse, and then Jonathan Majors is Kang also being in. Quantum Mania, mm. you can see where it's starting to come together. Mm-hmm. You know mm. what I mean? So, like, as Leon said, I trust Kevin yeah. Feige. This, oh, yeah, yeah. this is when his brainchild. This. this is his brainchild. He yeah. knows what he's doing. Yeah. Um, I'm quite sure people were saying this uh, before the Infinity Saga came together as well. Like, how yeah. is he going to connect all these films? Mm. So, obviously, like you said, Damien, it's a lot harder now with all the, not just films, but TV programs. Yeah. yeah. But if anyone can do it, Kevin can. Mm. Yeah. So <laughs> that's it. So uh, yeah, is there anything more you wanna? No. Add? no. I think topically maybe it's gonna be like a more mysticism based phase when you look at all the films we've done at the moment. I think it's gonna be more cosmic based. Cosmic mysticism. Yeah. I f- in fact, what one one theory that I heard, so you might be right, is that they're gonna have a street level bad guy. Mm. For whatever wants to combat, yeah. and then a big bad like Thanos. Right, okay. So that's that that and and with C- Fantastic Four coming in, I'm thinking that the really big bad, and I've sp- spoken to you guys about this already, has to be Galactus. Mm. It has they done him dirty in the original Fantastic Four, mm. being a oh. cloud, which is nonsense. Mm. Uh, <laughs> but um, Galactus is the cloud. Yeah, Galactus is a legit Thanos like bad man. Mm. Mm. He created Silver Surfer. Mm -hmm. And we all know how powerful Silver Silver Surfer Surfer is. So how much more powerful is the person who created him? Do you know what I mean? Mm. Who gave him his powers. Galactus is a legit... And the thing is about Galactus is that he's not even... In the comics anyway, he's not really a bad guy. But to survive, he has to suck the life out of planets. Mm. <laughs> it has to do it. So I'm sorry, <laughs> I want to leave. Him. <laughs> so it, it, it's quite, it, yeah. So it, it, it's a dilemma of how they deal with him mm. because he's not a you know an out and out bad guy. Mm. But obviously, what he does destroy to to survive destroys life. Mm. Yeah, but they've done that with the bad guys recently. Like they've given them depth and they've given them layers. Like your know, Thanos mm. really could be seen as a hero. When yeah, you look at yeah, much, isn't it? yeah. So yeah, they can do that. Yeah, hundred percent. So and then and then they're thinking of the lower tier villain to be either Kang, although I can't see that because he in the comics he's quite a big villain, mm-hmm. or Doctor Doom again with say, Fantastic Four coming in. Powerful, he is, but he still could be a lower level villain. Right. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, Which yeah. the street guys like Luke Cage and Daredevil and mm. all those guys can take care of while. 
the cosmic guys like the Guardians of the Galaxy, the Thors, and mm -hmm. Captain mm -hmm. Marvel Galactus. can go okay. after Galactus. Yeah. 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 So that 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 could be where they're heading. Okay. Um, which would be very interesting. It would be very interesting. A lot of work, but mm. interesting nonetheless. So yeah, yeah. Let's listen. What do you guys think about what Kevin Feige has said? And do you see the through lines with all these TV shows and movies? And where do you think this is going to go? Who do you think the baddies are going to be? Leave some comments down below and let us know what you think, please, yeah?